You don't really see them, but they are there in our rivers and estuaries, helping clean the water for all creatures that call it home. Not to mention, they are pretty tasty. We're talking about mussels, clams, and oysters. And according to researchers at Portland State University, they are not doing that great. A recent study of waterways along the Oregon coast found a variety of toxic chemicals inside the animals. We found that there were a a suite of uh, compounds that are commonly applied in forestry, forestry management that we detected in tissue and in the water samples. That's right. The chemicals found in the tissue of the animals were the same used in Oregon State Forestry Management. All eight sites tested were downstream from areas the state had treated with pesticides and herbicides. And we detected five uh, current use forestry compounds. The most contaminated animals were collected on the central Oregon coast, although the researchers admit the levels are low. They're far below any Um, criteria of what would be safe for human consumption, but uh, they are at levels that could be having effects on the oysters, clams, and mussels themselves. The state has a different set of regulations than the federal government on what pesticides can be used. One of the compounds that we found is not allowed to be applied on federal lands, and so we saw them in areas where uh, that were downstream from state or private forest lands because they're allowed because they're allowed to be applied in those yes in those lands in a statement to kgw the oregon department of forestry said it's committed to responsible forest management and providing the state's cleanest waters it even participated in this study it hopes its findings help influence lawmakers to better protect water quality the researchers hope so too They know these mussels, clams, and oysters are already facing challenges, surviving in warmer water, a more acidic ocean, and more pollutants. Helping limit those pollutants could help save them. Um, So it just raises the issue that there's actually a lot more chemicals that these animals are being exposed to that may be causing stress to them. And again, then maybe affecting their biology and could be affecting their population. Keely Chalmers, KGW News.